so once again to create a table we created a class file any class can be saved as a table you just annotate it with entity that means this class has to be saved as a table whichever column you want to be a primary key you annotate it with at id remember it's all from javax.persistence so that we can use these classes even if the hibernate technology changes to some other ORM technology in the test employee you have something called as annotation configuration object to the config annotation configuration object you have to add all the class files that are annotated in your project you call this config.configure which reads the hibernate configuration files and understands what is the name of the database and where the database is located you call the schema export basically to drop the schema and like you know um, you can recreate the tables the first two true statement is for the log files that is printed to the log files and the second true uh, statement is do you want to run it against the database that is a second true uh, statement you need to run this only once in your project after the tables are created don't run it again and again you lose all the existing data because it drops the tables and recreates it after this is done we created the table we created something called as a session factory it's very resource intensive so be careful about using it and then from the session factory we say like get current session to create sessions and then like we begin the transaction we create objects like whichever objects you want to save we create the objects and then this object which is not associated with a session is called a transient object to make it a persistent object we have to associate the object with the session so we call session dot save and we pass the object and then we call the session dot get transaction dot commit this is the line it actually executes the insert statement to the database and we were able to create the data in the tables thank you now that we have finished uh, like the first chapter about hibernate we learned how to like you know create a table out of a class and then how to save an object as a record in the table let us do a quick review and see how much we have learned till now now the first question is what are the uses of the entity and id annotation tags now if you remember the entity annotation indicates that the class should persist to the database that is uh, create a table out of the class and the id annotation represents a unique primary key this is what we did we put an entity to say that this class has to be persisted and that the employee id is the primary key good so second question how do you tell hibernate which classes are to be persisted like okay we have some entity annotated tags how do you tell hibernate which classes are to be persisted we have to first create an annotation configuration object and then like we have to add those class files to that config.add annotated class so this way you tell hibernate okay these are my uh, annotated classes now you have to like you know tell them okay now hibernate these classes need to be persisted or like you know create a table out of so you'll see this one like you know we are relating hibernate with these annotated classes now second question third question which line of code allows hibernate to understand how to access the underlying database well config.configure and then you pass the hibernate.configuration.xml file this is the line if you remember which like you know understands like you know what table uh, what database and what is the uh, location of the database and all those things it reads the configuration file and then it understands like you know which database should it persist to. which object connects to the underlying database and generates the various tables do you remember it is the schema export object this is the object which connects to the database and then like you know it creates the table so we usually comment it out once the tables are created 
next question what is a transient instance objects not associated with a session are transient instances that is in the code if you notice here the employee object is a transient instance and here it is associated with the, uh, with the session so it is no longer transient right here in this particular line what are the steps involved in saving an instance that is we just saved Alex like you know what are the various steps involved first is we need to create a session factory and then based on the session factory we need to create a session and we call like session dot begin transaction basically like we are telling hibernate hey be ready for the transaction then like we pass the objects that need to be saved don't worry about the save or update we will see about what it is later on and then we call the commit transaction this is the place which actually saves the particular object to the table which object is fairly resource intensive and should be carefully used if you remember I said it is the session factory we should not create a lot of session factories we will learn about how to like restrict creating session factories later on how do you create a session well we create a session from factory dot get current session the session object you can create as many as you want what is the use of session dot get transaction dot commit now if you remember this is the line where you actually save to the database tables okay it will save the objects associated with the session to the database and that's it uh, hopefully you enjoyed this lessons um, catch you very soon with the second chapter thank you